been using social media to criticise the protesters, claiming they're undermining the environmentalist cause whilst attempting to reassure local people that they're doing all they can to keep the roads moving. Uh, welcome to the show, Councillor. Uh, how has it been on the roads near you? Uh, good afternoon, Tom. Well, obviously it has been quite tense because, uh, you know, people who are just trying to go around their daily lives are having to negotiate these protests. You don't necessarily know where they're going to be, where they're going to crop up. And so you can see the, the frustration etched on the faces of just ordinary people trying to get around their daily lives, drop kids off at school, go to work, attend doctor's appointments, that kind of thing, you know, make deliveries and just generally go out and earn a crust and, and get on with their lives um, without being caught up in all this nonsense. And you can understand how frustrated people have been. I mean, we've all seen this kind of footage floating around on social media where, where individuals who are, who are, who've had their cars and, and lorries and vans held up by these protesters have tried to confront them, tried to, in some cases, drag them away and in themselves have been stopped by the police. That can't have gone down well locally. No, um, it's, it's just a fascinating... Uh, and you know that famous saying that there's no no publicity is bad publicity, but I think this whole business has seriously made me question the veracity of that belief. Um, mm. I mean, these tactics, uh, they may have generated publicity, but it's hard for me to get my head around how antagonizing tens of thousands of people can possibly be good for any cause. Mm. Um and I, I mean, I do kind of regret calling them idiots because it was a bit mean of me. But oh, really? I've been trying I, to I put that's, my, that's I've, a I've lot been, softer than the to, words I'd use there, councillor. <laughs> no, I've been trying to put my uh, myself in their shoes and try and work out where on earth they're coming from because this has been done on purpose, Tom. Hmm. So somebody thought this through. There will have been a meeting inevitably involving a guy with a ponytail wearing sandals, and they've <laughs> sat round and they've said, "We have rising CO2 emissions and there's problems with air quality. What can we do to help?" And someone mm. has actually said, lads, I've got a great idea. Let's cause huge tailbacks on the slip roads onto the M25. And they've agreed that that's a good idea.